Hey guys, it is Vivius and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be like a little update video, just uh, updating you guys on obviously what I've been doing over the past couple of days regarding Dungeoneering and some of the experience I've been gaining. And on screen is a picture of my floor, is it 55? So it's a high warped, or well, and a medium medium to high warped uh, floor, 8 minutes 30 seconds. That's the quickest floor I've done so far in Dungeoneering. And obviously it's a warp, so it's very, very good, nice experience. 143k for uh, 8 and a half minutes of work. So that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've been managing to get, uh, on the first day I managed to get 1.9 million Dungeoneering experience and on the second day I managed to get uh, 3.5 million Dungeoneering experience, so that's a total of about 5.4 million Dungeoneering experience over the past two days and that leaves me with about 17, I believe it's 17 million Dungeoneering experience until 99, so at that rate I should be able to get it within the next four days, <laughs> just coming to think of it. Uh, I but um, it's, it's probably about six days until I actually achieve uh, 120 in engineering, so that should be fantastic. But this rest of this video is just going to be a little update on. I'll uh, show you guys uh, the new Dungeoneering update that's just come out. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different to the other Dungeoneering update that I've uploaded, or well, the other video um, regarding the Dungeoneering update that was going to come out, and now it has come out, so I'm going to give you a little debrief of what um, actually what's a part of the update and a couple of things that have changed. So hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And obviously, if you're new, subscribe for more videos. But apart from that, I hopefully enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so now we're here at the Dungeoneering place. What have we got? So we've got the Brawler's Hook Necklace, uh, Warrior, so that's like a Warrior's Necklace, the Split Dragon Tooth, 50 prayer points for your normal bone you bury. That's worthless. Farsight Snapshot, Ranged Amulet, um, so there's a mage amulet, a range amulet, and a melee amulet, and there's also a scroll of proficiency for construction, we've got a scroll of dexterity for crafting, a gold accumulator, which is 20,000, uh, what else do we have, what's this, chaotic remnant, you can use it, that is sick man, you've got a remnant for 100k, chaotic spikes 20k still, um, uh, so we've got a mini blink now. I'm not sure if I want to be spending 500,000 tokens on a mini blink. Uh, that's 5 million Dungeoneering XP. Just for a pet. I don't know about that. But that's basically all we've got for the update. Yes, here it is. It's southeast. Yep. Here comes some Dungeoneering XP. And bang. 2,400. Elden. It's, it's down here. I'm going to have a little look. It's southeast. The dungeon's southeast, I think. Oh, no, they're not. Dude, there's a little area for the yew trees. So it looks like there's a little area for the yew trees. And there's... Oh, there's a new woodcutting area. Maple trees, willow trees... Somewhere. There it is. Grouch, you found it. <laughs> Oh, new demons. Pretty sure they dropped something. This is a nice dungeon. Look at this. That's so epic. And now let's have a little look. Let's let's head back up to the top and what? Yeah. I was. I'm not there anymore. I'm going to have a little look at the reward trader again. Skip floors. Here we are. Yeah, def so to skip floor 29, for example, you need to spend 17,000 tokens. Uh, to skip floor 1, you need 585. Skip floor 2, 1170, and then it just goes up. It's, it's cumulative. So if I want to skip floors 30 and 31, it'll cost me a lot of tokens. So that's why it's not worth it at all. Um, you know, by the, with, the amount, with the amount of experience per hour um, that you get from Dungeoneering, it's just not worth it, I don't think. To skip these floors. Um, I don't see why you want to score skip floor 60 when you can just rush it. It's so dumb. So one thing that I didn't mention in the previous clip was actually the brand new interface uh, when you go to climb down the dungeon and it's a lot better. So if I have a little look down here, so obviously I've got a couple more floors to reset and I've done all of these floors today so that's absolutely fantastic. Getting a ton of XP and like I said before, currently got 5.3 million dungeoneering experience. Um, so if I quickly choose a floor and complexity. So let's just, for example, uh, choose frozen floor and complexity six. 
If I go to climb down the floor, you can actually see uh, you've got to activate hard mode and it's always set onto no, which is absolutely fantastic. If you're in a party size and you want to do obviously a five, um, a five, five and five uh, C six large floor, you want to be going to obviously click the party size difficulty as five and then hit the large dungeon as well. Now it's a bit of a shame that obviously the dungeon size isn't set onto large and isn't set onto five and five, but you know that's just me complaining. But, um, you know, in all honesty, it's it's so much better rather than just having to obviously hold spacebar and then click uh, 5, 3, and then 2 to obviously um, enter the dungeon. So the update is, you know, it's 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 a phenomenal update. Jagex is definitely going in the right direction regarding their uh, current updates. And, you know, it's just making the game so much better. And I'm not going to be showing you guys what the little blink looks like unless, I, unless there's someone at the bank here that has one now. But I'm not going to be showing you guys what the familiar looks like because I haven't managed to catch any of those on footage. Uh, but I've I've seen quite a few running around, so I probably should have done that for you guys. But if you want to if you want to be going into a dungeon, all you want to be doing is clicking on the climb down, hitting uh, five large, and then enter. So you just want to go five large, and then enter, and you're straight into the dungeon. And I'm going to show you real quick what I do when I enter the dungeon. So if I go, for example, five large, enter. What I do is when I enter the dungeon. I right click the snuggler, snuggler, I'm going to call him the snuggler, uh, right click the smuggler, hit the claim reward, trade by feathers, create the red gate, drop it, and then um, open the map. So that's exactly what I do at the very, very start of the dungeon, so if I, if you didn't catch that, repeat. Um, so you obviously have to claim the reward, then trade the smuggler by the feathers, just in case you get one of those rooms in which you need to tech fire, and then um, open the map. So instead of pressing the X here or clicking away on the map, or around the mini map, all you have to do is open this map here, and you've also then you've got your bearings on which way you need to head to the dungeon. So if you're down here at the bottom left, so for example, if I spawn down the bottom left here, and I've got potential in the north or eastern doors, and this is all to the west as well. Obviously, the gate stone is not going to travel west; it's going to travel east or north. So I'm just going to choose whichever door I can go through, and then um, drag the GT um, in that direction to. Uh, hopefully be on the critical path. But that's all for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, let me know with a like and a comment. Um, apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.